right, let's see if we can do this without getting in trouble. <laughs> so I have to go to my work today and I'm not sure again how much I can show on camera what my work has because you know there's like secret stuff up there. So you may just end up watching me like stopping in a few places that's like not really uh, exciting and it'll probably already be finished when I'm explaining it so you're not going to see like the process of what I'm doing is just going to be me like explaining what happened after that. So yeah, let's see if you can come along the journey with my work without getting in trouble. All right, I'll see you there. All right, so I'm here in my cubicle. I'm not sure how much I can show you around. I do have to meet with someone at like nine o'clock and right now it's like 7.45, so I'm here a bit early. I just have to get some like paperwork done right now. It's not too much work, but you know, I'll just be sitting around and chilling waiting for them to show up at around nine. Okay, so I'm sitting at a place where I know I can speak freely. So in this building right now, again, I'm not going to show you too much of it. This is just a place where we keep all of our hazardous waste. So I live in California and you can't just dump like everything in the trash can. We're like a big facility in a way where you have to properly dispose of waste. So things like oil and like electronics and stuff, you can't just dump that out in the trash can. So we have to legally under like the federal law, dispose of it properly. So for the most part, this whole building just like is a storage place for all of that crap and like waste. And again, I'm not gonna show you too much. You can see that behind the background are just like buckets and like containers really to keep them all stored up together. So yeah, this is life as like an engineer. I'm just sitting here waiting till nine o'clock for some other inspector to show up for some other program that I'm, I guess, helping out with. But for the most part, every single week, I just have to show up here do like a little checklist to say that I showed up and I inspected the place and like I know that we're not throwing away stuff like illegally in the trash can and that we know that this waste is like within this building. So again, this whole building and maybe I'll just show you some buckets and stuff, all those little bright yellow stickers, that's to show that there is something inside there and it's like, could be dangerous. But for the most part, it's not dangerous. It's just like oil. Or it's just like, you know, household things that are not dangerous at all. It's just not right to like dump it down the drain or just in a trash can. But hopefully this helps you guys again, just to see that, at least for my job, it's not too difficult. I just show up here once a week, do some checklists, and you know, I will be talking to someone at nine o'clock, but it'll be done within like 20 minutes. So, so my work consists of like, two to four hours of actual work work. Just, you know, as of right now. So yeah, life is easy, life is chill, and I'm just sitting here waiting. Hopefully what I'm doing right now, if you guys are watching, I don't get in trouble. Don't fire me, please. <laughs> I'm just here to show other people what it's like to be an environmental engineer. And this is like a typical day or a typical week. All right, so I just came back from the inspection. Uh, well. The cool thing is that I get to drive around in this little mini golf cart. So, I mean, you missed out on that. I'm not going to be showing you around the bowl facility. But yeah, just know that I do get to drive around in this mini golf cart. Instead of walking around the whole base, because it's pretty big. And now I'll see you back at the office. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm back at the office. And I just have to type a few reports as to summarizing what happened today. It shouldn't take too long depending on like the connectivity and the network. Okay, so I am done with work right now. Well, I just finished writing those reports, so I'm technically done. That's all I really need to do not allowed to stay on base for too long because then the boss man might get mad overall like because we're in california they're like almost shutting everything down again so they want people not at the facility so me just going to the facility right now today is sort of uh not too good but i mean it had to be done right now i'm actually just heading home and 
I'll see you home. So hopefully you guys get a sense of what it's like in like a day-to-day -day basis of an environmental engineer. Sorry, it's loud. There's cars everywhere. Construction going on. But yeah, so that's a typical day in my life. 